this is the real key okay this is the real key i literally bought three of these bags at one time so tell me i'm not the goat what is up beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm jenia if you're new to my channel and i am back with another video so in today's video i am going to be filming a what's in my bag i am also going to be giving you all some tips on how to get this bag as y'all know it's very hard to get tail far bags and i'm going to give y'all some tips and tricks today as well as show y'all what i carry in my bag so if you all are interested in seeing content like this and if y'all want to see what's in my bag, then go ahead and keep on watching this video. All right, y'all. So most recently, I have been carrying my chocolate colored Telfar bag. I just feel like this bag is very like versatile. You could wear it with a lot of stuff. I really love it because you can either carry it, you know, like this or this bag has really long straps. So where you could carry it as a crossbody bag as well. So I really, really love this bag. I have been obsessed with Telfar bags since sometime about like last year. I really feel like I'm that girl when it comes to like securing the Telfar bag. Like I got brown, the chocolate color. I got a cream color. I got the black. I got the orange. I got the yellow. I got the blue. Any color that you could think of that's like popping, I got it. I think these bags are so cute just to like wear every day with like an outfit if you want to switch up your bag real quick if you want to wear like black if you want to wear any kind of color these bags are so cute very luxury and he is also a black owned business so before i actually get into telling y'all what's in my bag i want to just give y'all a couple gems drop a few gems for everybody who is interested in purchasing a telfar bag and feel like they can't you know get one because literally these bags sell out in minutes sometimes seconds depending on what color it is that's like popular or what color it is that a lot of people want all right so first things first y'all need to make sure that y'all are following his instagram page at telfar global make sure that y'all have y'all post notifications on and all of that so that y'all know when he says that he's dropping a new bag that's going to be the first thing that y'all need to do once y'all start following him, the next thing you need to do is click the link in his bio so that y'all not on the wrong Telfar website because there are definitely a lot of fakes out here that are selling fake Telfar bags. So make sure y'all are clicking the direct link in his bio to shop, okay? After that, what you're gonna do is, he has like a little email list y'all can get on. Get on the email list. Make sure that y'all sign up for the email list because he's gonna let y'all know what time and when he's gonna drop another bag. After that, you're gonna sign up with your email address and you're going to put all your information on it. You're gonna basically build a profile which has your name, your address, and everything else. The only thing I don't think that it does is take your payment information. So you're gonna go ahead and create your file on Telfar's website. Once you do that, girl, all you gotta do is wait for the next drop. This is the real key, okay? This is the real key. What you're gonna do is once it's time to drop, I usually wake up an hour early. If he say he gonna drop at nine o'clock, baby, I'm up at eight o'clock. If he say he gonna drop at eight o'clock, baby, I'm up at seven o'clock, okay? Whatever time it is that he says he's gonna drop, be up an hour before that. You're gonna log in to your profile on his website and you just gonna wait. You gonna keep refreshing, you're gonna keep refreshing the page. Keep refreshing it. I don't care how many times you gotta refresh it. Make sure that you refresh it. If you want this bag, refresh it as much as you want this bag, okay? If you want it a lot, refresh it a lot, okay? You're gonna keep refreshing the website. Once you do that, about 10 minutes before, you're going to copy your card number. You're not gonna wait until it's time to check out to have your card in hand and copy down and, and be typing on your phone the card number, we ain't doing that. We're going to copy the card number. So once we get to check out, all we gotta do is paste it on there, okay? We're gonna copy the card number. Once you copy the card number, when it's time, when eight o'clock hit, first of all, before we even do that, at 7.59 or at 8.59, whichever hour he decides to drop, you're gonna keep refreshing. 
at nine o'clock, you gonna add to the bag, you gonna throw it in the bag. Okay, you gonna throw it in the bag. Once you throw it in the bag, you gonna go in there. Now, because you already created your, because you already signed in and created your profile, once you get on there and check out, the only thing you're gonna have to do is do a drop down. It's gonna ask you what address you want to ship your items to. You're gonna just drop down, click on that. It's gonna take you to the payment information. All you gotta do is paste your card number in, you should already know your CBC card, your CBC code, sis, and you should already know your expiration date, okay? The only thing you got, I know my expiration date, my card number, and I know my CBC code, baby, so that ain't an issue for me. So, baby, make sure, pro tip number two, make sure that you know your card number, okay? If not, copy it down so you can go ahead and paste it in there when it's time. Paste that card number in there, hit submit, and you got the bag. I literally bought three of these bags at one time. So tell me I'm not the goat. I brought three of these in one drop. I didn't have to wait. I've never done a bag security program. I will never do the bag security program because I just feel like you have to wait too long to get your bag. So follow these steps sis, and you'll be okay. Like you will have your bag, I'm telling you. Follow my steps and you'll get it. All right, so now that the bag is secured, now you can go ahead and put whatever it is that you want in your bag, sis. And I'm gonna show y'all what I carry in my brown chocolate Tupper bag, which is this beauty right here. It looks so good. And like I said, it's so versatile. Like I literally can wear this bag with anything. I've been carrying this bag most recently because I'm just a neutral girl. Y'all see all these colors back here, but that's cause it's the spring. I'm trying to get with the vibes. I'm trying to get with the spring vibes. So that's why I got all these colors back here. Most of the time, I'm just a boring girl besides the times that I'm wearing my Bottega green because y'all already know that is my color. But let me start rambling without further ado. I'm about to show y'all what I carry in my brown Telfar bag. All right, so first things first that I carry in my bag is gonna be this cute little fan. When I tell y'all it is so hot in Florida right now, I don't go anywhere without my fan. I literally got this fan off of Amazon. It was fairly cheap. It was not expensive at all. I will definitely be sure to link it down below. But this fan has three settings. You got the low, you got the medium, and you got the high. This fan feels so good when you outside on those hot, humid days and you just need something to like cool you down. This fan is also used, like if I use, if I'm doing my makeup and I put on too much setting spray, I will use this fan to like dry my face down. So very essential, you definitely need you a fan in your bag, sis. Especially if you live in Florida or in any hot weather, you need a fan. So this is definitely, one of the items that I carry in my Telfar bag. So the next item I'm gonna show y'all that I carry in my bag is just some cute little shades. Very neutral color, mostly goes with anything I have on. If I'm just going out and I just wanna do a lip gloss and shade type of day, these are really cute. Just put them on and instantly like baddie real cute so yeah i keep these in my bag like i said just in case i want to do like a sunglasses and lip gloss type of day these are really cute so those definitely stay in my bag the next thing i'm going to show y'all are these lifestyle wipes definitely have to keep these because the virus is still out here we don't want to be playing no games so i definitely keep my lost lifestyle wipes in case i have to wipe anything down and then i love my wet ones in case i have to wash my hands or not necessarily wash my hands but wipe my hands down if my hand sanitizer isn't doing the job the next thing i'm going to carry or make sure that i have in my bag are my blotting tissues i got these ones from target it comes with 70 sheets these are the oil absorbing wipes. I call them blotting tissues. So yeah, I definitely keep these on deck every time I'm wearing my makeup or if I'm not just to absorb the oils. The next thing I love to carry in my bag is this light if I'm out taking pictures. This is a really good light for those days when I wanna take pictures and I don't have good lighting. I always keep a light in my bag for, you know, when I wanna be cute and take me some pictures. All right, so the next obvious thing I keep in my bag is this wallet. I've had this wallet for a while. I wanna say I got this from Target. Um, it has like all my cards in it and I definitely make sure that I keep cash because I'm, I don't know, I'm just 
old school. I know a lot of people don't really like to use their um, use cash a lot, but I definitely make sure that I keep cash in my wallet because I feel like sometimes you could go overboard with swiping the card too much. So I just make sure that I keep cash in my wallet. The next couple things I have in here are my charger because I'm a content creator now. I don't want my phone to go dead. And most of the time, if I'm recording like a reel or a TikTok or something like that, I'm using my phone. And I definitely hate to feel like I'm missing out on something. So I always keep my charger with me. I keep this charger on deck. This is the fast charger. So this charge my phone literally so fast. So I definitely love this charger and I definitely make sure I keep it with me. Then my keys are in here. I wanna really like rearrange this key because it has so much stuff on here and I ain't feeling this no more. We need to make this aesthetically pleasing for the girls. <laughs> and then I have my AirPods. I love these. I got this little AirPods case from, I wanna say Target. They have a lot of cute AirPod cases. They have a lot of cute phone cases. They have a lot of cute cases, period, in their technology section. So yeah, this is the case that I got from my AirPods and I love it so much. While we're talking about content creation, I love to keep my tripod in my purse as well because I take my camera literally everywhere with me. I don't want to ever miss a moment. I don't ever want to miss, you know, me recording something. So I always have my tripod with me as well as my camera. I would have my camera in my bag, but I'm recording right now. So yeah, that's something that's not in my bag, but I love this tripod and I got this tripod as well from Target. Okay, so I definitely always make sure that I have a pen on deck. I never wanna use anybody else's pen. Like I always have my pen with me. I'm also very old fashioned, so I really love to use like journals. I use this journal. So of course it has to be paired with a pen. When I come up with ideas in my head, I love to jot stuff down. I either jot it here or I jot it in my notes on my cell phone. But like I said, I'm really old fashioned and I love to jot things down in this notepad. So I have this and my pen in my bag as well. I also love this little book. It's brown, so cute. This is a calendar that I keep my scheduling, everything in. I love to be organized. I like to stay organized because when I'm not organized, I feel like I'm all over the place. I definitely need a new one because I think this one ends in June of 2022. So I need to get another one, but I love this calendar so much. I got this off of Amazon and I will try to link it down below if I find it or if they still have it because this definitely keeps me organized. And I feel like every girl should have them some type of calendar or some type of book that they can write things down in their purse. Also in my bag, I love to keep my hand sanitizer because you can't have the Telfeezy without the hand sanitizer, baby, okay? You know, auntie keeps her Telfeezy and you know what she keeps in her Telfeezy? A hand sanitizer. So I make sure I keep my hand sanitizer in there. I got this from Bath and Body Works and I love it. It's the Black Cherry Marlowe and it smells really good. I love these batteries so much because like I said, I'm always using my camera. So I wanna make sure that I always have a little juice on my camera and that my camera never goes dead. So I have three of these plus the one that came with my camera. And I love these so much. I got these off of Amazon and I will be sure to link these down below or you can catch them on my Amazon store. So I'll be sure to link that down below as well. So last but not least, I feel like every girl has them like a lady bag like I have everything in here like literally just on us like just seeing this right here you can see that I have me some Vegasil wipes I have my perfume down here I think I have my Ebony Woods Carolina Herrera I have Daisy by Marc Jacobs I have a bunch of stuff I have some panty liners in here band-aids in here because you never know when like something is going to happen I got some alcohol wipes. I got me some Aquaform lotion because I do not like the ashy hands. I make sure I keep my lotion in here. I have Invisalign and I'm supposed to brush my teeth literally after every meal, which I don't really do, but we ain't gonna talk about that, okay? We ain't gonna talk about that. So I got my toothpaste in here. I have my Invisalign, like a tray in here for my Invisalign. I have my little um, floss picks in here. Yeah, I have makeup wipes in here. And let me tell y'all why I have makeup wipes. So when I went to Jamaica, I had got like some makeup on my shirt. 
So I take one of these makeup wipes if I do get makeup on my shirt and I just wipe it down. It's makeup, so of course it's gonna come off with a makeup wipe. Pro tip number three, keep you some makeup wipes when you're wearing a full face of makeup so, so that if you get anything on your shirt or anything on your clothes, all you gotta do is take you a makeup wipe, wipe it down, and you good for the rest of the night. So I keep me a travel pack of makeup wipes in here, okay? Keep it, sis. Also have my Fenty Skin Butter Drop Whipped Body Cream. I love this stuff so much, so I definitely keep me the travel size in my little lady bag because I have to have that. And that's pretty much it. So make sure y'all get y'all a little lady bag. I got this one from Target by Sonya K. I don't know how to really pronounce her last name, but that is where I got this one from. It was $10. I will link it down below. So cute. And some people may not like the clear part of it because you definitely can see inside, like everything that you have inside of there. But I'm sure they have different colors. I like the clear one because I want to see what's in here, what's running low, what I need to restock. So definitely make sure y'all get y'all something where y'all can put like y'all pads, tampons, panty liners, anything that y'all need inside of y'all purse and it don't be all over everywhere. And then last but not least, I make sure that I keep me a hair tie in my bag just in case I gotta pull my hair up and <laughs> I'm just playing. But I love to keep hair ties in my bag just in case anything happens or in case my friend needs a hair tie, in case I need a hair tie. Not to fight, cause I'm classy. But you know, just for anything, like if it's too hot outside or anything, I love to keep me a hair tie in my bag. All right, ladies, so that is it for the What's In My Telfar bag. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you all like the content, if y'all like to see what I had in my bag. Also, comment down below if y'all want a part two of what I can fit in my little small Telfar bags because I have so many of these and they are so cute and convenient and I know a lot of people love mini bags. So comment down below if y'all wanna see a part two of what's in my mini Telfar bag. These bags were like 150, I wanna say the medium size was 200 and then the bigger size is like 250 so there are increments of 50 i want to say don't quote me but yeah like i said go ahead and like this video give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and don't forget to follow me on instagram at all eyes on underscore gg for all of my pictures and content as well i want to thank you all so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one